Hi guys, um, <clears throat> Terry here again. Um, I'm going to be working question six in the January 2022 um, paper. Okay, so in this question here, we have a track meet, a cylindrical container is fitted with a pipe as shown in the diagram and is used to serve water to the athletes. The cylindrical container of radius 12 cm and height 20 cm is completely filled with water and the pipe fitted at the bottom dispenses water into cone-shaped cups. The cone-shaped cups have a radius of 3 cm and a height of 8 cm. So basically this is what the diagram is. You have a cylindrical container and it's filling these conical cups. Now, first thing they want us to work out the volume of the water in the cylindrical container. So this is the container here and you want to figure out what is this volume. Right? That's what you're trying to figure out. What is this volume here? Now, if it's a cylinder, right, the volume of a cylinder is simply, so the volume is pi r squared h, right? That's the volume of a cylinder. And let's see, did they tell us what to take pi as? All right, I don't see pi, but I'm going to take pi as 3.14. Right, so let's take pi as uh, 3.14. So it's going to be 3.14 multiplied by my radius squared. Now, if you go to the diagram here, the radius is 12 centimeters. So this is going to be 12 squared multiplied by my height, which is 20 cm. So this here is going to be 20. So 3.14 by 12 squared by 20. All right, um, let me check that in the calculator. All right, so that's 3.14 multiplied by 144 multiplied by 20, and I'm going to get 9043.2. All right, so 9043.2. And this here is going to be cm cube, right? Because the dimensions that I've used there are given in centimeters, right? Now, the reason why I haven't rounded off anything as yet is because they want you to write your answer in liters, right? And they want that to two decimal places. So here's what's happening here. They gave us a conversion. They said one liter is 1,000 cm cube. So what you can do, you can write this 1,000 cm cube right is really equivalent to one liter so therefore if you want to get 9043.2 cm cube right and you want to convert that to liters all you really need to do is to divide by 1000 so that's 9043.2 divided by 1000 and that's going to give you my answer in liters so that's, and they want to answer to one decimal place, right? So this is going to give me 9.0432 liters. But since I want my answer to two decimal places, the answer is going to be 9.04 liters, right? So that's your answer to two decimal places. Right? So your answer is 9.04 liters let's see what the next part is part b now they said water flows from the cylindrical container along the pipe into a cone shaped cups at a rate of 7 8, 7.8 milliliters per second calculate the time taken to fill one of the empty cone shaped cups so what we need to do we need to find the volume of this cone shaped cup here right so they gave us some dimensions they said the vertical height is 8 and the radius of the circular part is 3 cm so they give us a formula, right? So let's go ahead and find the volume of one of those cups. So it's one third pi r squared h. So that's one third multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by your radius. The radius we're going to take will be 3 cm. So this is 3 squared multiplied by the height, which is 8. Right, so let me work that out for you all. 
So that is one third multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by 3 is a 9 multiplied by 8 and I'm getting 75.36 so this here is 75.36 this is volume so it's cm cube right now here's what I want us to work out they said that it's flowing at a rate of 7 milliliters per second right now one second let me see what else they give you here oh that's all they gave all right so one ml of water right one milliliter of water as a volume of one cm cube right that's for water now you have a volume of 75.36 cm cube right now water is flowing at a rate of 7.8 milliliters per second right so therefore 7.8 ml right actually takes one second to fill right but you trying to fill 75.36 milliliters right so you're trying to fill 75. 36 milliliters so therefore 75.36 ml is going to take us we need to take 75.36 and divided by 7.8 and that's going to give me 9. Point, let's say 9.7 seconds right about 9.7 seconds right so that's how we work out that piece. that's how long oh sorry the one the answer to the nearest second right now see not here give your answer to the nearest second right so the answer to the nearest second here right is going to be 10 seconds right so this here is my answer I didn't see that part there to the nearest second right Next part here, you know, determine the number of empty cone-shaped cups can, that can be filled from the cylindrical container. Well, that's, that's easy enough to work out. You know the volume of the cylinder. So the volume of the cylinder is, where did we work that out? 9043.2. So this is 9043.2. 2 cm cube volume of cup right the volume of cup here is going to be 75.36 right therefore the number of cups that can be filled All we need to do is to take the 9043.2 and divide that by the volume of one cup, 75.36. And that's going to give me 9043.2 divided by 75.36. And I'm going to get 120 cups. Hmm. Right? So we get 120 cups from, um, from this container. All right? So that brings us to the end of question six. Right? Um, please hit like and subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing.